just looking at your own fight, obviously Evan Dunham, like yourself, is a guy who values the uh, the ground game. Yep. Is, is he a guy as a result of that who was on your radar for a while, or is this a fight that came out of nowhere? Yeah, I mean he's a guy I've always paid attention to. He's always exciting fights, uh, always good skill set. Uh, the, 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 we watched, uh, we paid attention a lot. I watched like uh, when he fought Melvin Gillard. I watched that fight quite a few times because when I was getting from Melvin, Evan was a guy I kind of figured. Well, you know, we're very very similar skill wise. And what did Evan have trouble at? What did Evan, you know, kind of like? I was like, he was almost like the practice run for me on like you know how my skill set would do against Melvin. And we kind of took some things from it, got some you know got some good info from it. And um, you know, but he's definitely a guy I paid attention to for a long time. Looking at like your own plans for next year, I mean, there's a lot of guys in that top 15 in the lightweight division who are. You know, probably at the same level. There's not there's not a whole lot between number two and fifteen. We'll say. Do you see maybe a couple of wins getting yourself right up there in the mix? Uh, maybe. I mean, I I, I try to get caught up in the title shot stuff. You know, so many yeah. guys that have been like number one and number two for so long, and they don't get a title shot, or an injury happens, or something like that. Like, it's so everything is so uncertain. Like one fight happening is so uncertain yeah. in so many cases. So I try not to start thinking like, oh, two three fights ahead. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna deal with Evan Dunham on Friday and then we'll go from there you know um, the UFC's coming to Boston in January you know which is my hometown mm -hmm. so you know maybe if we come out of this fight we're okay you know maybe someone else gets hurt maybe we step in or do something there you know yeah. but uh, but I try to never ever look you know past you know the guy that's in front of me Speaking of Jiu Jitsu you're going into a fight with a guy known for his Jiu Jitsu is it one of these axioms where basically two Jiu Jitsu guys get together and they stand and bang uh, it, it could be, you know, uh, you know I, I always want to get the fight down to the ground, you know, but now it becomes, okay, my wrestling versus his wrestling and, and not getting caught with something on the way in, not getting submitted on the way in. Um, so I don't know. I mean, maybe he comes out and takes me down. I, I, I don't really know how it's all going to shake out, but sometimes that happens. You know, you get two guys that are really, really dominant on the ground and they end up having a kickboxing match. Uh, I, I try not to have that, but you never know what's going to happen. How big was it for you to get past Gomi, a guy that you idolized growing up? Gomi fight was awesome. Uh, it, I definitely idolized him. I was a definitely a feather in my cap like one of those things like I'll, I'll look back on like forever and just think about how it was you know it was great to be in there with him not even just, just beat him but just to be in there with him was awesome for me um you know obviously beating him is even better but I was just pumped to be in there with him at all um it definitely helps you know I, I think that Gomi uh was back in the day was like one of the best around I think he definitely was on the decline a little bit but still one of my heroes and you know it was great to be in there with him